Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys had a wonderful day. I know I did, guys. Hey, it's a little bit rainy, but we're here for another brand new drink, guys. If you don't know who I am, now you do, guys. My name is Justin. Hit that subscribe button below as we become part of a huge family growing every single day, whether it be in numbers or in knowledge, guys. Trying to hit that 300 subscriber mark. Just hit it. Let's be Spartans together. So, nonetheless, we are doing a drink that you guys have been telling me to try forever and evers and evers amen right uh so when i made my first crown video it was with uh crown and mountain dew and it was crown apple and mountain dew and you guys are always like no i usually mix it with ginger ale so that's what we have here today uh not sure the actual name of this but for as many people that said that they mixed their crown with ginger ale it's got to be good so as per usual my men's and ladies and gents and fellow lassies out there we're gonna make it the same old way as usual put the good good in first all right and we finished that bottle bam oh that smells so good i'm not a ginger ale fan by no means a lot so ever i don't really do ginger ale so hopefully this is good Kind of tastes like nothing. Not much of a color change. Made it more of a golden honey color. So that's pretty cool. Um, the choice I used was Schweppes. Um, it was the only thing that the store had uh, that was cold. I didn't want to buy a warm one and then have to wait forever for it to get good. So... <laughs> Here we got it. Well, it's got it's got a beautiful color. It changes the crown just a tad. It gives an amazing color. So let's try it out and see how it goes. Off the smell. It kind of smells a little flatter. Uh, it doesn't have that vibrant apple smell no more. I mean, I could have used too much ginger ale, but I'm not, I don't think I did. It's still there, but it's not as candied. Bye. Let's try it out and see how it goes. Okay, I like how it kind of uh, lowers the whiskey flavor, but it gives it a flavored apple. That apple is still very heavy on the flavor, so it makes it sweeter. It brand, it makes it more uh, acknowledgeable inside the drink. It gets rid of that uh, Canadian whiskey taste, um, more leaned towards the actual flavor and that's really cool that it done that a lot of the times it really it'll kill the flavor of everything when you mix it and it'll kind of have its own like general flavor but for this to kind of just die down on the whiskey side but make the actual flavor of the apple pull up and come out more makes it a great drink never thought of mixing something like this together would be that great um uh, Mostly because, um, I don't know, man, just ginger ale just to me is not all that great. But I'm, I haven't had it in a long time. Maybe my taste buds are different and maybe it's something we should be drinking more of. But even after mixing it around, drinking a little bit, it smells kind of flat-ish, like I said. But the flavor is way better than the smell. Yeah. Flavor is a ton better than the smell. Uh, and it kind of has a, like a more of a lingered apple taste than it did straight or with the Mountain Dew. It kind of um, raises that flavor level and then it just stays more. It doesn't dissipate. It kind of goes after a while, but it hangs around a lot longer, which I really enjoy the apple flavor because I'm a huge apple fan. So, guys, thanks for this. Um, opportunity uh, i know it took me a while to finally do it but i had another person just yesterday or the day before i, can't I think it was yesterday he told me that they done it so man we just have to there was so many of you guys telling me that it was good so we went for it we knocked it out and you guys as always knocked out an amazing wonderful drink so cheers to you guys y'all are awesome mm. it makes it more um Apple soda-ish, I guess you could say. It would probably be really great on the rocks 
a lot better, cold, really chilled. It'd probably be really, really good then. But this is straight off the shelf. And as you can see, this is straight out the fridge. It's very cold. Um, so maybe if they were both really like cold, cold, it would be awesome. So again, guys, thanks for the option of in the comments. Remember, if you want me to try things like this, leave it in the comments below. It helps me a ton on creating these videos. But guys, it's always a pleasure reviewing videos and making drinks with you guys. So thanks a ton. As always, guys, hit that like button. Hit them comments below. Become part of our huge family by that subscribe button. Helps me, helps you as we push that 300 subscriber mark, guys. Mm. I can't believe how close we are to 300. I feel like we could hit really, really soon, guys. I have a bunch of faith in you guys. It's a bunch of fuzz. Um, hey. As always, guys, I buy it so you guys don't have to. I try it so you guys don't have to. And I like trying new things. You guys tell me to try. Uh, I know that was a little paused out, but it's okay. Uh, we got a lot coming in this week. I'm super excited. Tomorrow's another brand new live video. No videos posted. Remember, we go live Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and we post Monday through Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, guys. Uh, we're pushing this long week without a day off. Today's kicked it off. Five more days to go. So cheers, guys. Y'all have a wonderful evening and blessed night. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> Tastes pretty good. I like it. Y'all guys have a wonderful and blessed night. And as always, guys, till later, till next time, till always, I'm Justin. Guys, hit that subscribe button below. Come over to Huge Families. We grow every single day. And now, we'll see you guys tomorrow on our live video. Not quite as probably long as yesterday's was, but it's going to be great. Come on. Come hang out. Come show up. Till then, guys. Till later. Ah. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Y'all have a blessed night.